All right, we got another, there was another big story that happened yes. uh, while we were away. There was another big story. You want to pull that one up for us, Ellie? Yeah, let's, let's pull that story up. Here we go. <laughs> Sean <laughs> P. Diddy, Puff Daddy, Brother Love Combs. Yes. <laughs> yes. Arrested. Yeah, arrested by federal agents in New York. Combs was arrested at the Park Hyatt Hotel on West 57th Street, a representative said. He was caught off guard by the apprehension, according to the, a person familiar with the situation, who added... Uh, he had been living at the hotel for several weeks. <laughs> Man. So, dude thought he they could didn't... creep back in the country and just lay low? They didn't just arrest him. They didn't just arrest him, did he, bro? <laughs> dude was going out to get him a box of Jolly Bee and some, some, some spaghetti? <laughs> They're like, not today. <laughs> oh man, that man was going to, to get some cheesecake, bro. Okay, <laughs> that man was that man was going down to the bodega to get some cheesecake. All right, and then next thing you know, them, them the 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 feds jumped out on his ass. Yeah, yeah, man. I, I was wondering, like this happened, and I don't have you heard uh, Death of Slim Shady yet? I know it sounds like I'm. No, no, you, and you know what? I after the show tonight, I must sit down and listen. Like the the issue is, I'll start listening to it. Right, I'll listen to like six, seven songs in a row, and then something to pop up and distract me from the album. And yeah. I want to listen to it in one sitting from beginning yeah. to end. Did you and get so to fuel I, yet? So what happens is, I've listened to the first seven songs on the project about fifteen times. Yeah. Did you get to fuel yet? No. Oh, I'm I'm a spoil I'm a spoiler bar. Cause... Yeah, go for it. You know, listen, look, Eminem is always dropping little Diddy bars. Okay, yeah. like he's always taking a little. He's been taking a little pot shots at Diddy this, for a while. This is my favorite pot shot of all of them. Like I heard it and I was like, oh fuck. He's like, uh, uh, I'm like a R A P E R. I got so many essays, essays, and then there's the ad lib that says, wait, he didn't just spell the rap, the word rapper, and leave out a P, did he? Oh, <laughs> you know what? All right, I did hear you, peace, and I baby. did hear that bar. Okay. Huh? Yes, I did hear that bar. Yeah, yeah, like, M went in on him, and then on the Fuel remix, he goes in even harder, doubles down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. I All knew right. this Let's shit was coming. These, do, are, are we going to get into the charges, or, or mm. how are we doing this? Well, let's uh, pull up the next one. This one's interesting. And I think mm-hmm. we all know about this one already. Go pull it up, Zoe. The uh... We're yeah, now they're... getting a closer look at the mountains of evidence federal investigators collected at the homes of P. Diddy leading up to his indictment. This includes things like guns, ammunition, electronic evidence, and more than a thousand bottles of baby oil and personal lubricant. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Yes, a thousand bottles of baby oil. Yeah, like, mm-hmm. why, why, nigga? Why? Why? You, you want to know why he got a thousand bottles of baby oil? Well, I him? know why. Because all holes don't lubricate, Monty. Okay, <laughs> that's why. <laughs> you didn't have to that's break it down to me. I knew why. Of baby oil. Uh, uh-huh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> now, now, now think now think about that for all of those that have heard the 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 alleged audio of Diddy and Meek Mill. Think Diddy. about that. And yeah. now think about a thousand bottles of baby oil. Oh. And it all it start to add up. Oh. Mm. oh. Come on, Diddy. Come on, Diddy. <laughs> oh, he came on something for sure. <laughs> <laughs> he came on a lot of things. Oh, for for sure, yeah, like 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 yeah, a Can't thousand stop, won't stop for real. <laughs> a thousand, yeah. yeah. I, Listen, his his lawyer actually released a statement today. Hold on, wait, where is it? Yeah. Diddy's lawyer claims he has a stockpile of baby oil because he enjoys buying in bulk, like many Americans. That's not buying in bulk. <laughs> hey, That's man, buying in the man. warehouse. Hey man, you ain't ever went to, to to Costco or Sam's Club and was like, you know what? I'm gonna get this box, this 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 gigantic box of Snickers, and I'm gonna get this big box of dinner rolls, and I'm gonna get this this pallet of baby oil. Yeah, but I've never gone into Costco and said, you know what? Just give me the Costco. 
Yeah, but that's because you're not Sean P. Diddy. Yeah, y'all can home. shut down for the day and wait for your trucks to restock. Just give me yeah. all of it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Listen, a, 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 a thousand bottles of baby oil. Okay. He's trying to let like the the stories that have been coming out about these freak offs, and then watching the way the 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 the, the industry has been moving around since then, like. Like seeing the stories of like Usher and Pink and Justin Bieber all going through their like Twitter history and deleting puffy related content and shit. It's like, yeah, this is listen, this man been doing this shit for a long time. Oh, really okay? long time. And, and look, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell y'all something, okay? Give y'all, like and it's not an exclusive, but I'm gonna tell y'all some shit. I've been in this music business for this October will be twenty six years. That I've been a music producer. It's like 26 years from the first time somebody paid Team MFN for some beats, right? Ace Wonders in the chat. He can co sign this. October 1998 is when we started making music. And it wasn't even like a month or so later, somebody paid, cut us a check for the first yeah. beat we made. We've been doing this shit for 26. I guess like next month will be 26 years. We have worked with a lot of people. That have worked with Sean P. Diddy, Puff Daddy Combs. And let me tell you, everybody I know that has met this man and worked with this man has a horrible story about him. Okay? <laughs> there are two people I know in this business that everybody I know that's that that's worked with them got a negative story about them. And that's Puff Daddy and R. Kelly. Okay? <laughs> them two niggas right there, everybody I know that's worked with them got a fucking terrible story about them niggas. Shit. Right, and with Diddy, all the stories is is either how he tried to fuck him or he tried to fuck him over. <laughs> like he's like, like, and yeah, again, you get fucked are, one way or another. And look, I want to make sure I say this. This is all anecdotal stuff that I've I've been told over the years. Right, you know, like you hear it from a person in the studio, and then they tell you this thing. Oh, I was that bad. Boy. Matter of fact, the only people that I work with that the only people that I've worked with uh, that work with Puff Daddy that work with Diddy. And didn't have anything negative. They only had positive things to say about him. Was the boy band B Five? <laughs> then the only niggas I ever worked with, where everything they said about Puff was positive. They was like, "Oh, he's great. He took care of us. We made money. We did this and that, and it was all good." And the way they left the label, everything, everything they had to say about that nigga was fine. Everybody else I've worked with, writers, singers, producers, like. Oh my God! I've heard stories about him stealing niggas' beats. It is the it is wild. And again, unsubstantiated. This is anecdotal stuff. But like, I've known way too many people that definitely did not know each other. That yeah. all told me similar stories about him. Shit. Yeah, there was. We had a situation back in 2013 where Bad Boy was mildly interested in signing the Bastards, and yeah. I didn't even take that call. <laughs> Good call. Yeah, yeah. Or a good night call. Because I'm like, bro, like, I, I, I watched the way you fucked over 112. You want me to sign up with that? You know what I'm saying? Like, there's way too many niggas that was, like, Jennifer, Jennifer uh, Lopez tried to tell y'all ass in 2002 about this nigga. Y'all wasn't listening. Okay? Everybody's been trying to tell y'all about Puffy. Like, go you back know? and look at all the jokes that people were making. Those weren't right. just jokes. Yeah. But yeah, like, all fucking, been like, trying to like, tell you. like it is it is wild, bro. Like everybody everybody I know, like for it to be like I if I in over twenty six a uh, twenty six year career, for me to meet if I met a new person every year that told me a story about Diddy, and I the only people I ever worked with that had something good to say about him was B five, like say, bro, that's not looking good. Well, well fifty cent uh couldn't resist his opportunity mm -hmm. to chime in on it. Oh, listen, so, 50, 50, 50, listen, 50 Cent, like, for 50, this is his They Not Like Us moment, okay? Oh, yeah. He about to go the fuck in. Yeah, yeah, wait. so check this out. I got I got two things for 50. <laughs> Token Black Man said Diddy is the black Caligula. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> check it out. So 50 Cent makes, uh, makes joke about a thousand bottles of lube seized in Diddy's raid. Uh, wait, do we have the tweets? Uh, 50 Cent jokes uh, for Diddy after the authorities revealed the discovered thousand bottles of lubes of, ba of baby oil and lube during the raid at the rapper's house back in March. The information was revealed by the feds following Diddy's arrest yesterday. Oh, we don't have the tweet or the, the, the post. He, 
he had a post with him and Drew Barrymore. And it said, uh, look at me hanging out with Drew Barrymore, and I don't even have a thousand bottles of lube at the house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. It's wild, bro. Let's just pull up the, the, the next story, because this is this is a good, good way to lead into it. So, uh, more from 50 Cent coming up here. Like, right here, we got Netflix buys Sean Diddy Combs documentary after a bidding war. So, Top Line. Uh, Top Line A discusses about the allegations of sexual abuse, rape, and sex trafficking against Sean Diddy Comb has landed on next Netflix months after its producer, Curtis 50 Cent Jackson, started teasing the project and, produce, and, and posters for a fake documentary started making the rounds on social media. So, yeah. So 50 Cent's documentary about Puff Daddy's bullshit is about to be on Netflix. Uh, 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 and I want to make it a point. We have to say alleged bullshit. Yeah. You have to say alleged bullshit, all right? Yeah. And, uh, you know, like, I mean, even though uh, a grand jury decided to indict him based on the evidence yeah. that they saw. Look, right? I got to so, say right now, we might have to watch that documentary. Oh, we're definitely watching that documentary. The we're second it hits. Su- su- surviving Diddy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The the diddler? Oh, for sure. We're absolutely watching yeah. that shit. Diddy the diddler? Oh. Sean. Yeah. Sean, That's a Sean fucking Batman Enigma. villain right there. <laughs> Sean Enigma? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. The diddler. Yeah. There you go. Uh-huh. Oh, it's shit. Like- All right. All right. I like it. I like it. And, yeah. and. A and little more Kobe news Black came out a little Ron, after that. You, you, um, yeah, go ahead, Mark. Go ahead. Check, check this one out. Check this one out. Mm-hmm. So, oh, there we go. There we go. Diddy's desperate text to Cassie following the 2016 hotel assault revealed. Oh, yeah, I heard about this. I, I haven't seen it, but I have heard about these text yeah, messages. Do we have the text? Do we? Oh, shit, we don't have any of the text. Like, Hold he, on, I, I can, I can, I can find them, and, and, and I'll, yeah, I'll find, find them real quick read and them. read them. I'm gonna read this. It okay. says Diddy's frantic text messages to Cassie following the brutal assault of her in 20, 2016 have been revealed. The messages were made public during the rap mogul's bail appeal hearing in New York Wednesday, September 18th, which resulted in him being denied bond for a second time. Like. Fuck. Uh, yeah, I, I saw a little bit of these text oh, messages, and, it's, and it is wild. Okay, what, what does it say? Here's about? one. This one says, call me. The cops are here. I got six kids. Yo, please call. I am surrounded. You going to abandon me all alone? We all saw this footage, nigga. Yeah. We all. How are you going to send that text after that? Like, yeah, I'm going to abandon you. You just kicked me in the head. Yeah. Kick, kicked you in the head while she was down on the ground. Yeah. I got six kids. Uh, the defendant knew he had done something. Uh, no, no, no. Um, let's see. I'm looking for another one. She also she said to him, when you get fucked up, you knock me around. I'm not a rag doll. I'm someone's child. Mm. Facts. Like, in response to that, I got six kids. Mm. Well, you just kick somebody's kid. Those are what I have. Wait, I'm trying to see if there's more in here. Jeez, um, yeah, man. Like, that, that, that CNN Cassie footage is difficult to watch, right? Oh, it is. With, with, hey, with, without knowing any context about what happened up to that point that 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 led to that happening, right? Just seeing the footage on its face with no context is hard to watch. I'm like, damn, man, just like, yeah, yeah that 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 was very very difficult to see her just yeah, like. Yeah, and that goes get, into his apology video. Fuck your apology, Diddy. Thank you, Zoe. Like that apology was was fucking bullshit. 
I, I think that apology is what you is what he had to do. Yeah. Um, you know, like like from a public relations standpoint, you know, and as somebody who's a business owner and the face of so many businesses, right? Like when you yeah. look at like Revolt TV and you look at, you know, the what he owns in Ciroc, you know, his record label and all the other ventures that we don't even know about, right? Yeah. It's like as soon as that video came out, it was like, oh shit, like when that video came out, that didn't just cost him money. That yeah. cost a lot of people yes. money. Yes. You know? So they have to do they have to do damage control. Oh, yeah, after yeah they people. have to. But at like, a certain point, yeah. like there's a certain type of shit where you're just fucked, apology or not. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, it, yeah. it definitely and felt he like he was, was just fucked. The mm-hmm. minute he lifted his leg and stomped down like that, mm-hmm. fucked. Could you imagine, like, I can't even imagine a scenario where, like, and it, I, I thought about this with Tory Lanez and Megan Thee Stallion, bro. Like, I can't imagine a situation where I, I hurt somebody and then ask that person not it, to help me out afterwards. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I couldn't imagine, like. And like, make it like, look like it's their fault that you're getting fucked over? Like Dave Chappelle said that when when Ray Rice uh uh, uh punches punches uh his now wife I believe his now wife in the face so like, I couldn't imagine like punching my wife in the face with all my strength and yeah. then just going home after like yeah. you know what I'm saying <laughs> said what you want some chicken nuggets tonight like no then you punch me in the fucking face my jaw hurts right now <laughs> what you saying you want soup That's what you saying yeah like it's 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 it's, it's, it's crazy work it's absolute wild to me. That and what's wilder is the amount of people that are like defending him, right? Yeah, I don't and get that. Like, that. That shit is wild to me. Like, and there are and there are a lot of people that are very much pro Diddy, right? Yeah. They are seeing it as one a, a yet another time of the media taking down a black man and throwing him under the bus in the worst possible way. Look, look, I I just want. I'm all about defending the unjust treatment of, you know, black men. Because I am one. Mm. Like, I'm for it. Like, that's what we do. Like, let's let's stop that shit from happening. But if you did the horrible thing, black or not, cut him out. He's making us look bad. I don't want that defended. I don't want that defended. I'm not doing shit like that. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't think that I would. I'm. You know what? After the Chris Rock Will Smith, so stop throwing black into this shit when you're trying to defend him. Like that's what's offending me. Yeah, no, I I, I understand that. But like you, you do also. You, I mean, you can also recognize how. By how Diddy also has like white counterparts in this industry yeah. that have done similar, if not yeah. worse, things, yeah. and have not and yeah. and have not or will not have the same uh, yeah. uh, level of charges levied. And I'm with them. that. I'm with that argument too. Like, yeah. let's get them. But yeah, if Diddy you know, like, did like, this, I'm just saying, like, Diddy gotta whatever, go. Whatever y'all about to do to Diddy, make sure this is the standard for everybody going forward. Yeah, that, that's that, what we fight. Be, that don't don't let it be that the yep. head of Interscope or the head of Geffen or the head of Atlantic yep. Records turns around and gets caught doing the same fucking shit. Yeah. And then y'all turn around and be like, oh well, we got we gonna be lenient yep. on him because right we don't want to ruin his life. I mean, he got six kids after all. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And be like, like let's not do that. Like, yep. if this is what the rule is gonna be, then this got to be the rule all the time, right? And if that's not gonna be the rule, then we gotta fix the rule. Yep. That's that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. That. Like yeah, you know, like I don't, I don't want, I don't want preferential treatment. I want equal treatment. So whatever, whatever it's going to be, I want Applause, it to be Zoe. that across the board. Right there, right yeah. there. Like and then all the videos that have been coming out, like him and Travis Scott, him and Justin Bieber, him and uh, yeah. like talking about how he's getting people prostitutes and shit like that. Him talk, he talks about the parties. Like there are videos of him on late night talk shows yep. talking, talking about, about man, if I knew what happened at my parties, I would get arrested. Yeah. Okay. 
Like fucking Jennifer Lopez, when she broke up with Diddy, she was like, this nigga's too wild, okay? Like, he's wild as fuck. Like, dude, like, even, in, and I don't know if y'all remember that case, right? But, like, he had guns, was shooting at some niggas, and then gave the guns, and then put the guns off on his on his bodyguard, and then and then had the bodyguard be like, no, those, those was my guns. And then that nigga went and did time for that shit. Yeah. That man went and did time for Diddy for some shit that was Diddy fault, bro. Like, that's yep. just wild, bro. Like, making niggas do fucking five years, ten years of your life, bro, that's, that, that bro, that, that ain't no easy thing to do. And he no. been doing that shit for a minute, okay? Like, Shine was like, bro, I defended Diddy and went to jail behind that shit. G Depp was like, G Depp is like, fuck that nigga. Shine is like, fuck that nigga, bro. There's yeah. a, like, when you see the amount of people that have worked with him over the years, have so much negative shit to say about him, right? Jaguar Wright is is ready to say Jaguar Wright and, and Fifty Cent are gonna be slow dancing at this nigga trial, okay? Because yep. they have both been waiting for the shoe to drop on him. We got we got one more. We got uh uh what Cat Williams had to say. Three clips here or three three, three <laughs> images. Yeah, Cat Williams did talk about the titty. In in his in his Shannon shop, fuck me. Yes. Damn, he did that man. They make they making that man look like a goddamn prophet, bro. All that shit that he said in his interview in January. Yes. Okay. That just, and for the record, this is still the same calendar year. Okay. Yes. Donald Trump then got almost assassinated twice. Fucking, yes. Uh, you know, like he had two assassination attempts on his life. Joe Biden dropped out the race. Cat Williams then gave the interview of the year. Drake and Kendrick Lamar then had the greatest rap beef of all time. Fuck yeah, we make it for making up for all that time we lost in 2020 right now. Bro, like James Earl Jones died. Like it's just what the fuck is happening in 2024? Yeah. What else? What else do you have on your 2024 bingo card? Okay. Yeah. Like. Fucking ridiculous! I need this this year to quietly and politely just finish. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yes. All right. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Check this out. You all right? Oh, I'm not all right, Mike. Three days of this shit <laughs> got my nerves all rattled. <laughs> <laughs> my ass still hurts. Hey. <laughs> That was his first one. Uh. <laughs> Here's the second one. <laughs> Who are you talking about, Mr. Brown? What they? They. Look at it. Kareem Akbar. That's right, the educated brother from the bank. He's the real head of the CMB. The brain. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, that I yep, I I can see it going just like that too. Yep. Yep. Y'all y'all gonna try they gonna try to take Diddy down, Diddy Diddy finna tear this building apart, okay? <laughs> fuck 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 with him, watch what happens. Yep, yep, and here's the third one. I've had to turn down fifty million dollars four times. Four times. Just to protect my integrity and in that virgin hole I was telling you about. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, Cause P. Diddy be wanting to body. And you gotta tell him no. Oh. You gotta tell him no. I, I did. I did. See, I got the receipts for everything I'm telling you. That's why I can yeah, say them yeah, so I need, freely. Can't, 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 I need to know. You, you, I've had. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look, did he be on the party? You gotta right. tell him no. Boy, he can't, can't try to tell y'all. He told. He tried. <laughs> Turn <laughs> up, turn up, boy. It's gonna be listen. That that Diddy trial finna be bigger than the OJ trial. That's gonna be the biggest shit on planet Earth. Oh, okay? yeah. Thank you for watching Hannah Boy and Monty Show. If you guys want to see more amazing content, just click the video above my head. It's amazing. No, it's not. This one, this one, that one over there. That's trash. This is good. I know we made that, but that's a trash ass video. This is no, no, right here. no, no, no. The video above my head is a fantastic video. Your video is the yeah. garbage video. You're only saying that because you did that thing in that one. This is the good one. Your your that your video is the Oscar the Grouch of videos that we have on our channel. Oscar was the shit.